Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about creating a rule so that there is an automatic notification email or a Slack message to the Scrum Master whenever there is an issue that is being marked as a blocked in the team. Okay, so let's quickly understand what all different configurations you need to do in order to create this kind of rule. So we'll go to the project here. So the project that we were working with is a Jira mobile app, RCV Jira mobile app. We'll go to the project and we'll create a project rule, not the global one. So go to the project settings and click on the automation let's click on create rule to create this particular rule okay now the first thing we need to understand is we need to trigger whenever an issue we need to trigger a email whenever an issue is moved to the blog state okay so say for example this is a project rule so it is within the project right so we simply say transition okay so when the issue is being transitioned to the blob state right so we'll say the trigger is issue transitioned and from any of the state to a blocked state right so say for example your workflow contains a status blocked okay so you select the status as blocked okay this is the trigger and save it now what needs to happen if any of the issue in your project moves to a blocked state you need to notify your scrum master or any other relevant stakeholder so that they are aware that these are the issues or this is the issue that has been blocked and needs to be unblocked right so mostly scrum master will be able to help in that particular case so we need to have a new action right so you can also add the condition okay but if condition if you do not want to specify say for example you only want to notify the scrum master when a story is blocked okay so in that particular case you will need a condition to make sure that the story or the condition satisfies that that it is an actual story which has been blocked okay so first let's quickly go ahead and create it for all the issue types so we'll say new action and as soon as the issue is transition to block state notify the scrum master so we'll say new action and we'll say send email okay so there are multiple uh, other actions so if you'll see that notifications in the notification section you will see that we have option for the send email send teams message slack message twilio notification and uh, the web request right so if say for example you want to configure the slack you have to specify the webhook url for the for the slack okay and the message that needs to be sent for now let's go ahead and configure the email overall the process is going to remain same okay it's just the configuration that you have to remember so in the new action i'll simply say email okay let me type it quickly so send email and then to whom you want to send right so for now let me send this to myself so rcv academy live at gmail.com to show it right so i'll simply type in the email there okay so you can add the email something like that okay so i think rcv academy live at gmail.com Okay, so that email got added here. Okay, but what you can also do if I remove that, you, if you see the drop down here, you have multiple other options. So, like initiator, the approvers, whosoever is the signee reporter accordingly, and then you have these groups as well. So, say for example, there is a specific group of the project managers or the scrum masters, then you can specify that, but that will basically notify to all the members that are part of that group. Okay, so you have to make sure that whenever you are using the groups, you ensure that your rule, whichever rule you are building will actually trigger to all the members that are part of that group. Okay, so it shouldn't be that you are bombarding the emails to all the members in the group which don't need that. So in that case, you can specify the specific email as well. Okay, so I'll simply just for the demo, I'll say RCV Academy live at gmail.com and hit enter and then you have to specify the subject okay so you can simply say as of now i'll say so this in the curly braces that you see issue dot key okay what this is this is uh the so this this will fetch the issue key from the issue that is being moved to the blog state okay so if you'll see that uh, this double curly braces start and end and then issue dot key will fetch that key so we can simply say issue 
and then simply select that issue dot issue key is blocked right so it will simply say the number issue whatever the number is blocked okay and then i'll simply copy that same thing here and you can just have the email template properly to update the details in the content okay so i i'll simply say hi there issue is blocked please action okay so something there and then the more more options you can specify if you want to specify more options from which email it's coming the name etc reply to email okay so all of those details can be implemented there okay as of now let's keep it simple click on save and then i'll simply name this rule as notify scrum master when issue is blocked okay and turn this on so now this rule has been turned on okay if i now go to the project let's go back to the project and let's try to move the issue into the blocked state okay so say for example we have we are in the backlog and let's try to add some of the work item here so there is a these are the work items here uh, let's move them to the print one okay and let's start the sprint so that we can see these details on the sprint so now we'll be able to see these issues on the sprint board, right? Because we have started the sprint. So these are listed here. Now say, for example, as a team member, there is something, some issue with this one and this particular defect can't be progressed further because there is a dependency and this is basically blocked. Okay. So the team member moved this particular issue to blocked state. Okay. So now as soon as this particular issue has been moved to the block state, the rule should get triggered and an email notification should be sent to RCV Academy live email. Okay, so you'll see that the issue state as of now is blocked. Okay, and the rule should have triggered. So if I refresh, yes, you'll see that issue RJMA-5 is blocked and the details right so basically hi there issue is blocked and you will see that this is basically automatically coming from the issue right so rjma-5 which is basically that we have specified in the template right so whatever detail you will put that will be mentioned there and if you will see here this is the name if you want to specify the custom name in the rule you can specify the custom name and then the reply to email as well so that if person wants to reply they can reply from here itself okay so this is basically the basic rule okay and this will be triggered for any issue type now say for example you want to only trigger this particular rule when the issue type is a story okay so what you will do is we'll go to the automation section we need to add a condition there that's that's the only thing that we have to do so we'll simply go ahead and click on this notify scrum master rule okay let me close this and here we want to add a condition okay so what we'll do is we'll simply select this and then add a component there okay and simply say new condition right and we'll check the condition for issue field okay so we want to check the type of the issue so we'll simply say issue field and we'll say issue type equals story all right and then save it and you can simply drag and drop this condition okay above this particular before sending the email right because if you if the condition is not checked prior right then it's of no use so when issue is transitioned to blocked and issue type equals story right this is the condition that will be checked then send an email right send an email that this particular issue is blocked okay so if i'll publish the changes now and go back to the board go back to the project okay let's try moving this back here all right and in this time okay let me move this back to blocked okay so this this time this particular bug being moved to the blocked state should not trigger any of the rule right so this rule shouldn't get triggered for this particular rjma5 being blocked okay but if I move this story to a blocked state because there is a rule which checks that the if the story is moved to the blocked state, right, only then trigger the email, right? So you'll see that now RJMA1 is blocked, email has been triggered, okay? But not for this RJMA5 because we have updated our rule and added a condition that only trigger a blocked email 
to the scrum master when the story is being blocked okay so that's how you are going to build the rules in jira to send the notification to scrum master or any other member in the team whenever the issue is blocked or any other say for example other fields got changed or any anything that you can think of uh, as the real scenario in your project you can implement that using the rule builder so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching